Hey, CPO here. So my extended metal battery tray and my canopy support has made it uh, safely through the mail today. So I thought I would just do a quick video showing you um, how these two parts work, how they replace the uh, and differ from the factory uh, battery tray and canopy support, and then uh, how they mount on the helicopter. Uh, so as you can see, these are aluminum parts. And uh, in this case, both of mine are Taro branded. So I don't know if you can see, it says uh, Taro 450 Pro V2 on the, on the uh, battery tray. And then on the canopy mount, it actually says uh, V2, I think it says V2. Yeah, V2 Taro 450 Pro inside there. So these two components are designed to replace this one piece on the kit. Uh, and basically what it does is it allows me to have an extended longer battery tray with some, some different options for mounting. I've got different holes and uh, slots that I can take advantage of uh, that I didn't have before. A little bit of link difference, not, not a whole lot. Um, and then with the canopy support, uh, being a separate piece, it allows me to free up the front of the helicopter so that I can stick the ESC through there. Uh, so uh, because all that is inside the canopy anyway, then uh, you know it's not really seen uh, outside the helicopter. All right, so let's take a look at my helicopter. So I still have one side of the helicopter off because I'm I'm working on my wiring. But if we see here, um, this mount is going to basically go just like that. Um, so let's install it. Why not? So I'm just going to flip the uh, helicopter over here. Get some of these other parts all the way I'm working on. There we go. All right, so basically, um, this is just gonna slip right onto here. Um, and as you can see, let me adjust the light here. As you can see, there's a cutout in the aluminum that allows for you to slip the carbon fiber just right inside there. Uh, and then the holes should line up just fine. So I'm gonna get some thread lock on the end of a screw here. So I'm just going to start right here. Same as always, I want to be careful not to uh, cross thread. Taking it nice and easy on that. Get it just close to snug, not all the way, because I want to be able to move that up and down and get that other uh, bolt hole or screw hole aligned. Little thread lock, the other screw. And then I'll go back and tighten them both down. All right, so that is at least the one half of the battery tray. And as you can see, the battery tray fits the contours exactly of the carbon fiber frame. So it's cut out nicely uh, and then holds into place just like that. So now that's what it looks like from the inside of the helicopter. Which means... I should have no problems now fitting in my ESC inside of there. And I'll have to figure out how I want to do that, how close I can get it to the pinion. It'll have to go at a little bit of an angle, uh, of course, keeping in mind that pinion there. Um, 
But now I have some room to do that without having to worry about the front of that stock uh, battery tray getting in the way. So that is the battery tray. Now let's look at the bottom canopy mount. So with the canopy mount, it looks like it's going to actually replace the front uh, skid mount on the uh, on the helicopter as well. As you can see, on the helicopter there's this aluminum uh, skid mount, and this looks like it's going to replace that, uh, just like that. So, first thing we need to do is pull off the skid mount. And then underneath, I have this other screw here on the bottom side of the skid. And that's the bigger uh, hex head. Don't lose that little washer there. All right, so now what we can do is pop off this mount, and I'm, I'm kind of turning it and then working it off. So again, you've got this little mount here with that uh, raised area that fits inside the frame. We're gonna replace that with this new aluminum piece with a similar raised area that's going to fit inside of that frame. Let me pull off these other two screws. All right, so now this can go right in there where the old mounting location was. Doesn't fit quite as snug. And then basically what I want to do now is re-thread lock this bottom screw here. Let me put the washer on it. So remember I have this little tiny washer that goes on it. And I'm just gonna slip this in here, align that mount Okay, not quite uh, super tight yet because I want to make sure I line up the uh, side here. So now the front of the skid mount, this hole here, uh, I'm going to put back in. Okay. Now, interesting enough, here I've got another hole on this uh, canopy mount that actually aligns with another hole on the uh, frame that would have been used um, here for the canopy mount on the frame, you know, the stock one. So the, the mount comes with the uh, screws for that hole. So same thing, thread lock. It's not uh, lining up very easily the way I have it tightened down now. So what I'm gonna do is just loosen up that screw to give it a little more room to, uh, to wiggle.
and it still isn't lining up so loosen up the bottom so now I've got a lot of wiggle room in there uh, and my goal is to make it very easy to get this screw to align because I don't want to cross thread it now that I have it going in I can finish tightening it down move to this bottom screw and then finish snugging down this other screw so now what I end up with for this bottom canopy mount is the, the factory screw the new screw that came with the mount and then the original factory screw to hold on the uh, the skid so that's what this looks like now with the new battery tray and the, uh, the new uh, canopy mount and again, just looking at how that ESC is going to fit into there. Should fit in something similar to that. Should go, should go very nicely in there. As a matter of fact, um, just for, for giggles, Let's uh, let's put that canopy on. So assuming these are actually going to go connect to a battery, of course, these wires. Set it up right so I can get these uh, holes in the right place. So that's, never mind these wires are hanging out, they're not mounted yet. That's basically how the uh, front of the helicopter is going to fit into this new canopy mount. And that is with that ESC in there. So uh, basically that's a test fit and uh, looks like it's going to fit in there nicely. Very cool. So that is it. That is uh, basically a quick introduction to the, uh, I'll call it aftermarket or supplemental uh, uh, battery tray and, uh, and canopy mount. Again, those are both the Taro branded versions I bought. Uh, got them pretty cheap. I think it was like seven bucks for the battery tray and maybe just a couple bucks for the uh, canopy support. Uh, went into the helicopter. Uh, just like it was meant to be there from the start. And now I can finish that uh, electronics build. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.